10 to 5 today and we head down under now for Shortland Street. Uh, only me. You don't like it no. what you've done, do you? Ow. No! I get the damage you caused! You stop it! Selfish bitch! You stick no. her away from me! Kieran, he's off completely! Shut up! What do? You're dead to me, Claire. You two found her? Okay, I'll get statements from you both later. Please don't talk to each other. You must have ambulances and people in and out of this entrance at all hours. Not a quiet area even at night? No, it's not. It can be uh, very busy. Someone took a risk dumping her here. Sorry, I'm... Um... You never see something like this coming. She was only a kid. Who would want to harm her and dump her here like a, a piece of rubbish? Probably someone she knew. Probably male. I need names. Friends, flatmates, boyfriends, colleagues. To piece together the last few days of her life. What's all this? What's going on? Why are the police here? How are you feeling today? Not great. Well, you didn't inhale a lung full of gas. Maybe you should take the day off for work. It's not that. You didn't send those guys down the drain. It's not your fault the gas main burst. You did everything you could, including putting yourself on the line. It wasn't enough, though, was it? When you lose a patient in ED, do you beat yourself up like this? It's different somehow. Being right there at the scene. OK, it's different. Even so, when you're going to figure out you're only human, you can't walk on water or perform miracles, even though you really, really, really think you should be able to. Yeah, yeah. Take the day off. Go to the movies. Read a trashy magazine. Go easy on yourself. Go easy on myself? How's that work again? <laughs> I so want to hit you right now. You were going to run away, weren't you? I cook dinner. I light the candles. You don't turn up, I pack my bag. Yeah, I guess I deserve it. Hey, we all do stuff like that. I'm here now. And I still think you're gorgeous. Apart from that walking on water thing. Yeah, yeah, apart from that. <laughs> Eat your toast. Can't be. It's, it's not possible. I'm afraid it is. I can't believe it. It's just so awful. Has anyone called her brother? The police are in touch with Andrew, yes. Oh, the last time I spoke to her, I was so angry. I said such horrible things to her. You can't beat yourself up about that, Libby. Why don't you go home? I can cope. Oh, with the police calling all over the place? I don't think so. I suppose they want to talk to me. They want to talk to everyone. Oh, poor Claire. Yeah. Hey. What's all that action around the back? They reckon they've found a body in the skip. Really? Forensic blokes are all over it. Nasty. No word on who it is, but I can see you're busy. Um, about yesterday, uh, I'm here to apologise. What for? Losing my rag with you. That was ballsy going into that drain. It was stupid, as you rightly pointed out at the time. You don't have to apologise for anything, Grunter. But I shouldn't have gone off at you like I did. I'm not used to people going the extra mile. No one does it in Moy. They're all too scared of getting in the poo or upsetting the bosses or the dickers at Osh. <laughs> yeah, all of that. Anyway, just wanted to clear the air. Hey, uh, that, that guy who died yesterday, was he married or anything? Apparently he was married. With a young kid.
Love and hugs, Sammy. Oh, love and hugs and two great big kisses. Woohoo! For heaven's sake, it's just a friendly invitation now that he's got his pub up and running. Oh, and where is this pub? Hokianga. It's oh. right on the water and it sounds really lovely. And I happen to have time off owing. I hope you'll be having a single room, Mother. I'll be having a nervous breakdown. Look at this mess. This doesn't include the filing. Where is Claire? Is she actually phoned and sick or anything? Uh, we're out of ACC forms. I haven't heard a word. Not, nothing from her. She hasn't even returned your calls. That little madam is obviously too embarrassed to show her face. And when she does, I'll be reading her the riot act. As far as I'm concerned, what she has done is exactly the same as trying to break up you and Mark. Libby was so happy with Karen. Did you know that they have cordoned off the ambulance bay? Oh, yeah, there are some pretty weird rumours flying around, eh? Look, um, something's happened that you both need to know about. Oh, yay, goss. No, it's not goss. It's about Claire. What about Claire? Her body was found in a skip in the ambulance bay first thing this morning. The police have started an investigation. She's been murdered. Now, there is no doubt about that whatsoever. Bloody hell. Before the rumour mill cranks into gear, I would like you to pass on the facts, and just the facts, to your staff. And let them know that we'll have the police in here for the foreseeable future, wanting to interview anyone with a connection to Claire. I'm happy to organise a trauma counsellor if we think that's wise. It might be a good idea. The other thing, this will hit the media, as these things do. I have no intention of commenting. I'll leave that up to the police. And I'm going to come down like a ton of bricks on any staff member who speaks to the media. This is all about respecting Claire's privacy. Mm -hmm. What about her family? Her only family was a brother in the UK. Did the police think this was a random thing or what? No idea. Are we stepping up security for our night star? Yes, we'll do that. Um, thanks, everyone. Mm -hmm. <coughs> you okay? No. She needed a place to stay, and I told her that she couldn't stay with us. When was this? A couple of days ago, she wanted out of the flat. She said why? It was in the middle of the ED. I was busy, and your nephews were supposed to be coming to stay with us, and I, I just thought it was clear, dramatising as usual, something about, something about Libby and Karen driving her nuts. If only I'd said yes. Hey, you cannot stop blaming yourself. You could never have known this would happen. No, when Andrew went overseas, I promised that I'd look out for her. I've done a fantastic job, haven't I? Thanks. Thanks. Come in. Take a seat. This won't take long. We just need your version of events around finding Claire Solomon's body. Sure. So, tell me what happened. Uh, TK, oh sorry, uh, Dr Samuels and I were shooting some hoops. Uh, the ball went in the skip and that's how we found it. You found it together? No, uh, TK went after the ball so he saw it first. The ball landing in the skip, how exactly did that happen? I threw a pass, it went long. So Dr Samuels saw her first and then you took a look? Yeah, he was in shock. He couldn't say why, so I jumped up, had a look, and there she was. Just for the record, describe what you saw, please. Sure. Um, well, she was lying on top of some rubbish sacks in the skip, and her body... Uh, she was naked and uh, wrapped in plastic. Did you recognise her immediately? Yeah, it was obvious it was clear. What time was this? Uh, well, it was just before work, so... Uh, Ten to eight. You knew Claire Solomon? Yeah, she flattered with my wife's sister. That would be Libby Jeffries. <sighs> yeah. Do you recall the last time you saw Claire? Uh, well, it would have been two or three days ago. She was upset in the corridor. She wouldn't say why. Um, I know that she hadn't been turning up to work. How do you know that? She worked with my mother-in-law in reception. She was getting pretty annoyed. How would you describe your relationship with Claire? Uh, we worked together, we were friends. That's all there was to it? Yeah. <laughs> she didn't even know Claire. 
That's not stopping her. Uh, I didn't know very well either. It doesn't stop me feeling sad. Yeah, we all feel sad, Joey. Either pull yourself together or go home. You can't work in this state. Oh, I'll be okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Mum, we think you should go home for the rest of the day. I should have known. I should have realised something was up when she didn't make contact. You couldn't possibly have known. None of us could. <laughs> Mum, drink your tea, then I'll take you home, okay? Is there anything you can think of, anything at all, that might shed some light on Claire's movements in the last few days? Oh, well, there was one thing, I, I suppose. But we need to be told things, even when people think they're not important. Sure. Um, the night before last, Libby came over to her apartment wanting to stay the night. I think she did some kind of argument with her fiancé. Who is? Kieran. Uh, sorry, his last name escapes me for the minute. Um, he lives with Libby and Claire. Anyway, uh, later that night, Kieran came over and, and tried to push his way into the apartment. He was in a state um, demanding to talk to Libby. Anyway, I got rid of him and went back to bed. And when I asked my wife, um, Tanya, what the story was, she didn't want to betray Libby's confidence, but I got the impression that Kieran had cheated on Libby with Claire. You got the impression? You don't know for sure? No. Okay. You got all that? Yeah. Is there anything you want to add to your statement? Okay, then I'll get you to read through it and sign it and we're done. Okay. Oh. You're needed. Yeah, sorry. It's okay, drop back and sign it when you can. We're here all day. Okay. Oh, um, Mitchell. Sorry? Kieran's last name. It's Mitchell. I can't see up your nose, and if I can't see, I can't get what's up there. So just hold still, all right? Oh, you hurt me. You know I won't do that. Well, you will. You're a meanie. Is your nose sore? Yes. Then it would be good if we could fix it, wouldn't it? Yes. Excellent answer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to get some spray to make your nose feel better. And then we'll try again, okay? Yes, Alice. Thank you, Alice. Blow your nose. Sorry. I can't help but I keep thinking of Claire just lying there away. Lignocaine. Who keeps pinching the lignocaine? Blow your nose! Are you okay? <sighs> Couldn't be better. At least that guy has an excuse for behaving like a five-year-old. I can take over if you like. I'm not busy. No, I just need to breathe for a second. Yeah, we all do. Thanks. We're going to get the bastards who did this. They will. You never think it's going to come this close, do you? It always, always happens to other people. Yeah. Um, did you get yourself checked out yesterday? I heard you got a lung full of gas. Yeah, I'm fine. You know you have to slow down, don't you? Yes, I've already been told that. What is this? I've been seasoned on me. Well, if enough people tell you that you can't be perfect, you might start believing it. Oh, I believe it. Don't worry about no. that. No, you don't, Craig. You're recovering from a cardiac condition and you're pushing yourself like you're a 20-year-old. You put so much pressure on yourself, you can't see the wood for the trees. And what's in this wood that I can't see? God, you can't even take criticism. Do you know why you're making so many bad decisions? Because you can't get your ego out of the way. Before you got sick, you used to work on instinct. Now it's just bloody-minded, bull in a china shop, get out of my way, I have something to prove stuff. It's crap, and you know it. Well, thank you for that very articulate summing up. taking Claire's body to the morgue at Central. Will they do a post-mortem? I suppose so. Well, I might as well tell you. Mum and Tanya already know. Tell me what? Kieran and I split up. Lippy, why? Because I, f 
Salmon bed was clear. No. I've moved out and I'm staying at Marcantania's. Oh, I'm so sorry. When the police find out, they probably think I murdered her. Don't be ridiculous. Can I tell you something? I just can't get it out of my head. Of course. The last time I spoke to Claire, this is after I'd found them in bed together. She, she um... She tried to warn me about Karen. What about him? Well, I found out when I went round there, um, he'd smashed up the place. You're joking. I couldn't believe it. Well, did you know he was violent? I knew he had a temper, but not like that. Well, you're well rid of him then. I just keep thinking, did he blame Claire for us breaking up? Oh, he was in bed with her. It takes two. You don't think he killed her? I don't want to think that. Oh, you have to tell the police. I can't. I've got no proof. And it's a disgusting thing to think in the first place. This is the man I was going to marry. You still have to tell them. They'll find out anyway. They've already started interviewing people and he'll be one of the first because he flattered with her. You have to, Libby. How's your day going? Same as everyone else's. I nearly lost it with a patient. Well, I guess we we're all on edge. Some more than others. You know what I can't stand? People getting off on it. Crying bucket loads when they didn't even know clear. Yeah, the princess die phenomenon. Too weird for me. Are you going to tell Jake? Yeah. Yeah, they had their moments. Yeah, she was pretty messed up. Well, hardly surprising. Her brother was a pathetic little number cruncher. Practically abandoned her here when he went back to the UK. Left her with Sarah, who had her own problems. She was left to run wild with loads of dosh and absolutely no notion of right or wrong. That's awful. Explains a lot, though. On a cheerier note, Sarah gave me a bollocking. <laughs> what about? Apparently, I'm a bull in a china shop. Oh, go Sarah. That'll teach you, won't it? No, it probably won't, actually. You'll just stay the way you are. And stuff up another relationship. Well, you're not going to stuff up this one. I won't let you, unless you want to. No, I don't want to. I absolutely don't want to. <laughs> Can we go for a drink tonight? Just forget about everything that's happened today and have a nice time. We sure get. Hi. Hi. That was horrible. What did the cops want? They took all Claire's stuff. I mean, there's a whole bunch of them in the car park too, searching around the bushes. What for? For evidence, I suppose. And they interviewed Mark and TK too. That doesn't mean anything. They found Claire, of course they're going to interview them. No, like maybe they think it's someone who works here. It could be. Don't say that. Yeah, shut up, Joey. There was a weird guy hanging around the car park last week. Oh, you know, I don't mind walking people to their cars. Don't bother with the hero act. They're putting on extra security for us. I'm still going to get my uncle to pick me up tonight. You know what I heard? I heard whoever it was. They left her wrapped in plastic. I thought you liked Claire. I do. Oh, well, well, I did. Why are you talking about it like this? Show some respect. I'm sorry. Andrew Solomon, online one. Thank you. Andrew, Chris Warner, you have my condolences. This must have come as a terrible shock. If there's anything I can do to help, just ask. Uh, the police have started an investigation, but they're not saying much at the moment. Okay, yeah, uh, call me in the morning. <sighs> Poor guy, he was too distressed to... Can I come in? It's your house. You don't have to worry, I'll find some house to crash. I'll be out there by tonight. Have the police been in touch with you? No, why? About Claire? Mm. Claire done now. Her body was found today at work. My body? She's been murdered, Karen. And left, dumped in the ambulance bay. What? She can't be dead. 
she is. Um, thank you for coming to tell me. That's not why I came. I can't go on holiday now. A free wrong. Oh, that's silly, Mum. You deserve a break. And it'll be strange working on the desk without Claire. Now might be a really good time to go away. I don't know. I don't know what I think about anything anymore. Something like this happens and... It's Libby I worry about. Libby will be fine. I've never quite trusted Kieran, you know. I've always had this funny feeling about him. As far as I'm concerned, he can go to hell. Look, I know Claire's dead, but that doesn't stop me from feeling angry. I mean, how could they do that to Libby? I just hope that Kieran has a clear conscience. What do you mean? You mean it hasn't occurred to you? What hasn't? That he had something to do with Claire's death. <laughs> I think that's pushing it, Mum. Is it? A lot of murders are committed by someone that the victim knows, and we both know he's got a temper. OK, stop it. You give me the creeps. Just because he cheated on Libby doesn't mean he's a murderer. What do we know about him? He came here from nowhere. We only know what he has told us about himself. It could be a pack of lies. He could be anyone. Okay, stop now, Mum. The main thing is, Libby is not with him anymore. So, whatever he is, I don't care. Just know that I can't stand him. That's an obscene suggestion. I can't believe you didn't think it. I saw what you did to this place after I found you in bed with Claire. Claire even tried to warn me. She said you were out of control. Yeah, I lost it. I threw some furniture around. That makes me a murderer. You tell me. Listen to what you're saying, Libby. Listen to what you're accusing me of. You don't believe it. Not in your heart. Not when you know me as well as you do. I thought I knew you and then I found you in bed with my best friend. Why would I trust anything you say after that? Fair enough, but to think it goes fast. <sighs> you think I'm such an evil bastard? What are you doing here alone with me? I was hoping for a straight answer. You got your straight answer. What did you do to your hand? Like I said, I'll be out of the bar tonight. I'm pretty much packed. How did you graze your hand here? I don't know. You must know. I woke up with a headache and a sore hand. I don't know how it happened. If I did, I would tell you. Karen Mitchell? Yes. Detective Robert Gardner. I'm here to speak to you in connection with the murder of Claire Solomon. 